As in the previous chapter, we discussed the current scam going on that makes you lose money. Now we will discuss how it psychologically affects you. Once your stop loss hits, then what happens in your head? What do you start to think? Now when you research on any company, you pick stuff, example you check that their premium X stuff, let's say iPhone, sells like a hot cake. So you know it's definitely good. You yourself have used it and you simply like it. Now you have seen other stock in that same industry and you know this stock is the leading stock and you're sure that you simply cannot lose money on this stock. Now your brain add this stock name to your favorite list. As your stop loss hits, your mind reminds you that this is a good stock. Your mind tells you that you are making a mistake. So if you're making a mistake, you go on to buy it again. And as you buy, the other half of your mind tells you that hey, stop for loss was made to stop losses. And you bought again? Why? So you have like the devil's mind working on it. Your mind plays tricks on you. You face the dilemma of angel versus devil talk. In your mind, a battle starts. Your thinking doesn't let you sleep. You think, you think. You start to get angry on your kids or clients. Your mind starts to get to heat up. Your mind ram starts to work on full speed and you have no answer to both the questions because technically both questions are right. Then either you doesn't place a second stop loss order or you sell again in the stop loss order. So let's pick the first part. If you don't place a stop loss order then it can go lower and you can lose everything or as your mind gets to heat up then you simply just to get rid of this issue you sell. Now the in the future we will be discussing a strategy that lets you buy your favorite stock and in doing so you can make 15 to 20 percent passive income with zero percent risk. So it's like two profits in one trade.